Well, we've known for a long time that there would be attempts by international actors to try to influence our elections. So, you know, really we should be expecting more of this sort of thing to hit as we get closer to the election. Kim Nalder is director of the Project for an Informed Electorate at Sacramento State. For her, Wednesday's news wasn't entirely shocking. It's just that we didn't know exactly what form it would take and we didn't understand that we would have other countries aside from the ones that interfered in 2016 joining in. The director of national intelligence says the emails sent from Iran were made to intimidate voters and incite social unrest. Nalder reminds us that voter intimidation is illegal, saying once your ballot is out of its envelope, there's no information on your ballot that identifies you. Elections officials do not release who you voted for. So you don't need to worry that anyone will ever know exactly who you individually voted for. That's not part of the process. Although outside interference isn't surprising, Nalder says fixing vulnerabilities nationwide is difficult since elections are essentially run at the county level. In order for them to all replace their older election machines and make sure that they don't have content that's online that could be hackable, it takes money and it takes determination to do it. Nalder's message to California voters, California's process is one of the safest in the country. We have precautions in place. We have an administration that intends to get every vote that we can get out of the Californians that are voting. So uh, I wouldn't be as, as, as I might if I lived in a different state.